I think that our society has a great need of romantic things, uh, romantic means of expression. We are all looking for that because uh, our times tend to deprive us from uh, this uh, very essential uh, emotion so necessary to nourish our lives. So I think that uh, that is in part uh, one of the greatest fascination um, that uh, the audience for today can find in Chopin's music, really. Well, um, I not only play on historical instruments. <laughs> uh, actually, my background as a pianist has been always playing on the modern piano, much more frequently. Uh, for me, the, the experience of the historical instrument is a much more recent one, a very valuable, an incredible, great experience, but it has come in recent years. And um, I have actually recorded, um, not the sonata, but all the other three remaining pieces in the program on historical instruments. And I have done that in Warsaw, so I think it was good also to, to play today on the modern Steinway concert grand, because of that reason. Mm, I don't think I can, <laughs> because um, I think that for us musicians, the music is uh, much more natural uh, as a sequence of events uh, in narrative sense, um, than um, something we, we could express in words. Um, further than that, I think that um, I'm always really aware not to have a definite story for a piece, because this gives us uh, some kind of uh, limitation in interpretation. And um, my goal as, as, in, as an interpreter is um, to have more and more freedom um, to express my ideas, my feelings, what the music evokes in me in accordance to the text I'm studying. So I tend not to put everything into words. So I, I would be really hesitating in doing so. I cannot. <laughs> I think um, it is a rather, um, how I would put it into words, you know, after the, the funeral march, which is a, a, um, portraying a, a universal kind of feeling uh, for, for, for a tragic loss, I would say. This finale it can sound very weird, but it is just like, uh, coming to the origins, just, you know, um, um, how I would say, erasing and at the same time confirming the effect, the incredible, incredibly powerful effect of the march, in the sense that we are confronted with just the, the absence, just nothing, you know, and at the same time so much. Mm, it's, uh, it's incredible because it, it is navigating through all kinds of tonalities. Only at the end we have the, in the two chords, the tonality is clearly established. And for me this has the, as the um, psychologically um, the expression of what I'm trying to say in words, you know, that is just we are confronted with the total absence, with nothing. Just a, a, a wild wind. And, and then the tonality, again, to re as a reminder, as a confirmation. I would say so. <laughs>